European researchers were interested in searching for places in which the Sabaean Mandean people reside. This was because of their great importance in the history of religions. Researchers have documented and translated some Mandean religious books into English, Swedish, and German. Some of these European researchers who were interested in the search for the Mandian religion. <laughs> Matthias Norberg, born midsummer 1747 in Natra in Angermanland, died January 11, 1826 in Uppsala, was a Swedish professor of Greek and Eastern language at Lund University. The first interest in the Mandian religion in Sweden can be attributed to Matthias Norberg's translation into Latin of the Codex Nazareus, Liber Adami Appellants, a manuscript he found in 1777 in Paris and which included a version of Ginza. This was translated and published in printed form from 1815 to 1816 at Lund University, and became known as the Book of Adam. In Göttingen, Norberg visited the German Orientalist Johann David Michaelis, who led him into the study of Monde's religious documents, hitherto completely unexplored. The Mandian, who lived in southern Iraq and were also called Narians, Sabians, or John Christians, spoke Arabic and Persian, but their religious records were written in an Eastern Aramaic dialect with a distinctive alphabet. <laughs> Eric Sagelberg, December 20, 1920, Nykoping, Sweden, October 17, 2001, Uppsala, Sweden, was a theologian and pastor of the Lutheran Church in Sweden. Segelberg was ordained to the priesthood in 1944, and he continued to study theology and classics at both Uppsala and Oxford universities and received a doctorate in history of religion. His 1958 dissertation was on Mas Buda, studies in the ritual of the Mandean baptism. He became a professor of classics at Dalhousie University, Canada in 1968. As an emeritus, he returned to Sweden. He was widely known in many fields and specialized in studies of Patrists and Mandians and Gnosticism. Theodor Noldica 1836-1930 Noldica was born in Harburg, near Hamburg, on March 2, 1836 and died in Karlsruhe on 25 December 1930. In 1853, he began the study of classical and Near Eastern languages in Göttingen, where he earned his doctoral degree in 1856. In 1861, he became a private docent, university lecturer for Semitic languages at Göttingen. His interests in Aramaic became more prominent. It is in this period that he laid the foundations for his scholarly work on Syriac, Neo-Syriac, and Mandaic. Literature Mandean Grammar, Mandaeansha Grammatic Author Theodor Noldica. Mark Lidzbarski born January 7, 1868, in Plock, Poland died November 13, 1928, in Göttingen 1907 Professor and Chairman of Greifswald in succession to Alwart 1917. Professor and Chairman of Semitic Philology in Göttingen Complete and Concise Translation from German to Arabic of the Collection by Mark Litzbarski, 1868-1928, of Mandian Prayers and Hymns published in 1920 as Mandatia Liturgine, 1920. This collection, also known as the Souls Book, consists of prayers and hymns in four parts, Baptism, Mass for the Dead, the Three Prayers and Canticles, and Hymns. The Mandenta is a Gnostic sect that has existed since time immemorial. <laughs> Rudolf Makuborn, October 16, 1919, Zinspot Havernu, Slovakia died, July 23, 1993. 
Berlin, Germany Education, Universita Commons Kovi Bratislava Books, Handbook of Classical and Modern Mandaic. Maku made major contributions to this field, one of his three main specialities, to which he dedicated many years of his life. Seeking to study the East Aramaic language of the Mandaeans, Maku undertook the journey in order to study the traditional pronunciation of classical Mandaic, but he discovered to his own surprise that the language was still spoken there as a vernacular dialect, hitherto unknown to Semitists. He was able to make phonetic recordings of the spoken modern dialect, in which classical forms and vocabulary still partly continued, with the help of Nasr Sabori, the ritual slaughterer of the community, and to become acquainted with the traditional pronunciation of the Mandaean priests. After having received 30 microfilms containing the essential Mandaic literature and related fields from Professor Romer, University of Mainz, he began to analyze the material he had gathered during his field research and to undertake a meticulous comparison of the colloquial and traditional languages. The result of this work was published in his monograph Handbook of Classical and Modern Mandaic, in which he undertakes a parallel description of both idioms. <laughs> Ethel Stefana Drauer, born Stevens, December 1, 1879, January 27, 1972, was a British cultural anthropologist, orientalist, and a novelist who studied the Middle East and its cultures. She was and still is considered one of the primary specialists in the Mandians and was the dedicated collector of Mandian manuscripts. The researcher lived in southern Iraq, traveled among the Mandians to study their religion and heritage. About a quarter of a century. And she was able to translate most of the Mandian books and manuscripts into English. She received several awards for her scientific contributions, an honorary degree from Oxford University, an honorary degree from Uppsala University. She was named an honorary citizen of the School of Oriental and African Studies at London University and was awarded the Lidsbarsky Gold Medal for her work with the Mandians and their literary transmission on October 1, 1964. The Sabian Mandaeans are an ancient Iraqi Aramaic people and their language is Eastern Aramaic. The homeland of the Mandaeans in Iraq, Mesopotamia, and they lived along the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, one of the first inhabitants of Iraq throughout its cultural history. They are a religious minority who still practice their religious rituals. The Sabian Mandaeans were elsewhere other than Mesopotamia, including Haran, Palestine, Syria, and Iran, Oz region. They lived on the banks of rivers because of their importance in their religious and spiritual lives. The great persecution they suffered during successive periods of time was the reason for their isolation and movement to safe places to keep their religion and heritage. The Sabian Mandians were forced to emigrate after being subjected to robbery, murder, and injustice. Large groups of Mandians are now found in many European countries, such as Sweden, the Netherlands, Denmark, Finland, Germany, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, the United States of America, and many other countries. The total number is estimated at 100,000, and although there are few Mandians, they have played an important role in the scientific and literary fields. There are now many Mandian scientists, doctors, and engineers around the world.
that Arfesh, is a symbol of the Sabian Mandian religion. It is called the Peace Banner or the Banner of Prophet Yahya bin Zakaria, John the Baptist. It consists of two crossed olive branches in the form of, plus, to denote the four sides of the universe, and it also consists of a piece of white silk to denote purity and seven branches of the myrtle tree. Denotes eternal life. Adar Fash is installed on the floor during religious ceremonies. Sabian Mandeans Sabian is a word derived from the Aramaic Mandaic verb Saba which means baptized or died, immersed in water. Mandeans is derived from Minda which means in the Mandaic language knowledge. Thus, Mandean Sabians means those who are baptized and who know the religion of God. The faith of the Mandeans and their prophets, the Mandeans believe in a one God Almighty, in their holy books God is called the great living and eternal God. The Mandeans also believe in Adam, who is their first prophet. They believe in his son Seth Seidel as a second prophet, and in Sam, Idris and Yahya ibn Zechariah, John the Baptist. They believe in and praise Yahya ibn Zechariah, John the Baptist, as their last, and most important prophet. The basic pillars or religion positions of the Sabian Mandian's religion are, monotheism, baptism, prayer, Lent, and alms. The Mandians believe in one almighty God, called God in their holy books. The great living and eternal God. Baptism, baptism means baptismal atonement for the forgiveness of sins. The Mandians consider Yahya ibn Zechariah, John the Baptist, to be their greatest prophet and play an important role in their lives. The main sacrament is, baptism or dip, in water, and it can be repeated many times and takes place in running, live, water. The prayer There are three prayer times a day. Early in the morning, in the middle of the day and before sunset. The Mandians stand north during prayer. They believe that the world of light lies in the northern part of the universe, a sacred place where all human souls roam after death to unite around God forever. The fasting There are two types of the fasting in the Sabian Mandians religion, they recommend with great lint, which means refraining from all bad things like, stealing, murder, fornication lie and anything that damages man's relationship with God, and it continues throughout life. While the little lint means that one should be deterred from slaughtering the animals and eating meat, for 36 days per year. For 12 of these days, one should refrain from eating meat. Fasting is good for nature, the environment, and important for human health. The alms, God says in Gensa Rabbar's book. Give the alms to the needy and have to be on the secret. In other words, when you give the alms must be between you and the person in need. Alms is sometimes to give money, help, or advice. Ginza Rabbah's book contains the books of Adam, Seth, Sam, Idris, and Yahya ibn Zechariah, John the Baptist. The main book consists of 600 pages divided into two parts. The right of Ginza Rabbah, contains 18 books, and the left Ginza, contains three books. The book contains the teachings and commandments of God that he revealed to his Sabian prophets. 
The texts of the blessed book speak of the creation of worlds, taboos, the destiny of souls, reckoning, punishment, preaching, directives, religious narratives, and the struggle between good and evil. The book also contains hymns and religious and theological interpretations. Ginza Rabba tells the story of Adam and his death and how God created all the worlds, and the soul was formed by his power and placed in the human body through angels. So Adam and Eve created. They were the first man and woman. And it tells about, guard houses or disinfectants. Which the soul must pass through before its final destination. Book to Rasha Ed Yahya, it contains lessons and teachings of the Prophet Yahya ibn Zakaria, John the Baptist. Book Niani, the Book of Prayer. The book you use when you pray. Adam spoke a book, Adam's body, manuscript, explanation, clarification and interpretation of the human body, its organs and components. about errors, how to solve them, and treat some of the errors that priests and individuals from the general Sabian people can commit when performing rituals, in their religious and spiritual lives. The Class to Book, Marriage Book, this religious and ritual book contains prayer, hymns about marriage for Sabian Mandian. This religion attaches great importance to marriage, including the marriage of the priest. The marriage is performed by the priest, where the witnesses will also participate and lots of happy people in the party. The ritual that was held confirms the sanctity of the stabilization of the marriage and maintains trust between the two couples. The Mandaic language is a dialect of the Eastern Aramic language, which is derived from the Semitic family of languages. All religious manuscripts concerning rites were written in this language. The Mandaeans believe that God taught Adam his knowledge. Adam, therefore knew his God and himself, and began to read the alphabet, A.A., Ba, Ka, Da. His select sons, Adams, and his descendants knew it. The Mandian alphabet consists of 24 letters starting with a left and ending with it because the Mandians believe that all things return to their origins and beginnings.
great feast Dawaraba, is the festival of material creation, where the earth solidified and the planets were placed in their orbits, and the process of creation continued for six days. This holiday is considered the beginning of the Monday New Year's Eve, and celebrated for two days. Feast Dawahani Na, is the feast earth flourishing. Plants were planted and rivers dug to prepare them for the creation of Adam and Eve. This holiday is celebrated for one day. Feast of Creation, Braniya, is the process of creating the world of the highest light, the worlds of the upper light, and is celebrated for a period of five days. On this day the angels in the worlds of the upper light were baptized, the prophet Adam and his descendants were baptized by the angel Gabriel. On this day, the prophet Yahya ben Zechariah, John the Baptist, was also baptized, and celebrated for a single day. Mandians shares other celestial religions in identifying and diagnosing many prohibitions. This religion takes scientific and deep human dimensions in setting forth these commandments, they are colon 1 blasphemy, 2 murder, 3 adultery, 4 stealing, 5 telling lies, 6 false testimony, 7 disloyalty and dishonesty, 8 lust, 9 magic and witchcraft, 10 circumcision, 11 alcoholic drinks, 12 usury, 13 crying over the dead, 14 eating dead animals, pregnant animals or animals attacked by other furious animals and blood, 15 divorce, save in some exceptional cases, 16 suicide and abortion, 17 self-torturing and body hurting. Mandian's religion confirms very carefully and ensures the woman's importance and her very important role in society and for the family's way of life. religion describes women as half of society and that men and women are absolutely equal and equal in the greatest of all miraculous events, which is human creation. The Mandian's religion emphasizes treating women with great respect and appreciation.
Thank you.